of the East. Jack Burford Chevrolet presents Race Week at the Richmond Raceway in Richmond, Kentucky. Here's your host in all things racing, Bill Lupino. Hey everybody, welcome to this week's Race Week, sponsored by Jack Murphy Chevrolet and Richmond Raceway. Bill, big race, tell us all about it. Yes, uh, Saturday we had up the Southern All-Stars. Yep. Um, came up with a few drivers, they had a couple drop-offs, a few right, less than, right. than we were expecting with them, but we did have a good turnout. We had 24 super late models on the grounds. Fantastic. And uh, it was the Finn Watson Memorial. Okay. And we you know, got rolling, had a good field of cars, all four classes were decent. Um, we got rolling, had a good night of racing going, and... You know, weather was on our side. Yes. Got a little yes. cloudy later in the day, right. so it covered up that sunshine, which right. is always a good thing. Right, right. Uh, we did start a little bit late because we had a little bit of a problem getting the bottom of the track to work in with the, you know, the water that we had put on there. And, okay. you know, you always have a dry spot here, a dry spot there, but the track sure. really took shape and it was really racy all night and Excellent. put on a really good show. Excellent. I know that I heard it. Everybody heard it. Fantastic. And really, that... If you could have every Saturday like that, would you take that? <laughs> oh, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was really good. Right. Um, we had a surprise guest. Yes, tell super us about models, that. Yep. Uh, young man Tyler Herb, best performance, okay. motorsports number one. Uh, he's from Texas. Now he lives up in Ohio, and he's a follower of Lucas Oil Late Model Series. I think he's eighth in their national points right now. And okay. Lucas shows were canceled down there with the pipeline thing down there. Oh, in, uh, that's right. Yeah, you mentioned uh, that. Tennessee and Alabama. Okay. So he came up and went up to Moeller Raceway Park on Friday and won their $5,000 show. Came cool. down and visited us on Saturday for the 7500 And he was first one at the back eight. And, you know, it's always he's nice to see that to big toter right. out there. And, wow. you know, he came in and... Uh, set up uh, fast time and qualifying. Okay. So he got that $399 Matt's Fresh Produce Cash Sweet. Award. Nice. Yeah, gave right. that to him Thanks on front stretch yeah. during uh, opening ceremonies and cool. talked to him a little bit. He's a really nice guy. Um, his uh, girlfriend was out with her souvenir van that they have and nice. she was up front selling some shirts and okay. other things like that. Cool. And then you know, we got rolling in heat races and he, he won his heat race, a qualifying event. Okay. And then uh, started on the outside front row of the feature. Dustin Linville started on the pole. And Dustin led the first handful of laps, and then Tyler went around him on the outside, and Tyler was on the outside 90% of the race and just wow. That's way what up I was by the say, wall in the guardrail. We were talking and, about that earlier, folks, and he races completely different. Yeah, he was way up top. Wow. And just, he, I mean, a lot of other guys were running up top as well because sure. the top was there and racy, but right. he was as high up as I've ever seen someone And you said, I think you years. said he used pretty much the whole track. He did. Nice. When he came up on, you know, some lap cars and he had to go around him and he went to the bottom and went through the middle. Okay. He ran the bottom a little while protecting. We had a late caution and he went right back up top to protect. But, you know, he ended up winning. Um, like I said, he's a nice young man. Talked to him quite a bit throughout the night. That's and, cool. uh, you know, he did a nice interview up there in the grandstands with the announcer from Southern All-Stars, Dwayne Keith, and, you know, fist bumping the fans. And they also, Southern All-Stars, do an autograph session. So okay. during our intermission break, when we were working on the racetrack, all of the super late model starting field were up in the grandstand side. Oh, cool. Signing autographs. That's cool. And That's cool. so, you know, everyone got to meet them and shake their hands and sign some autographs and all that. That's but, really know, nice. Yep. So, uh, Tyler put on show and he won and Justin Ratliff finished second. Okay. And, uh, Zach Dome came home third and okay. Zach, you know, when he comes race with us, usually dominates everything. He was in his dad's car because they had okay. motor issues. So it wasn't quite sure. the same for him, but he still came from seventh up to third and, you know, right. did what Zach normally does. So That's super late model show was great. Now, was it me or I, I mean, I saw some pretty nice trucks and trailers coming oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. on Friday. So yeah. I said, I know where you're going. Yep. They, they got cool. some nice setups coming in. That's cool. Um, nice. you know, then we rolled into the Eagle finance UMP mods modifieds and, okay. um, Florence Speedway up there, yes, Walton, Kentucky, yes. Union, Kentucky area, they were off, right. which they've been doing that for us a lot this year where Josh King and his family will take the weekend off and we have a big super late model show okay. and they send us down some drivers. Okay. We had a couple super late model guys, a couple crates and modified guys. Well, one of his guys, uh, Brandon Green, he came in and you know, took care of business. Um, oh, nice. Yeah, cool. he, he led pretty much, I think, every lap of the feature and, you know, he won that big UMP guy. So it was nice having him down. And then Zach Powers, one of our regular guys, who I think is our high point man now, he finished second. He finished second. So, yep. Okay. So they put on a good show. And then we rolled out the Chapter 1 Realty Group Pro Late Models. Okay. And that was kind of a special event because Finn Watson's son, Jeff Watson. Yes, tell number us about 11. That. Right. He, he ended up, uh, I believe he led every lap and he won. Nice. So it was a nice, you know, emotional victory lane thing I'm with sure Jeff and his was. family and his group. Um, so that was really good to see, you know. That's, that's it's good. It's kind of special for him. Yes. You know, absolutely. AJ Hicks, I believe, ran second. And then finished up tonight with the Air Body KDRA Super Sox and mm -hmm. Alan Hackworth. Uh, he took the win in that. And, cool. you know, it was a nice clean race for those guys, too. Put on a nice show. And, you know, we went from there. And, folks, we do want to remind you all of these results 
and everything is on Facebook yes. and of course on their website. It's very comprehensive. Go on, check all the results and all the times and all that good, all that great stuff. Yep, website and points were updated yesterday. Um, we still have to get some pictures on today. We were a little busy sure. yesterday. A lot of cleanup to do after race day. Absolutely. And we got a couple things to still get out on Facebook. But cool, that's Website's fantastic. up to date. Excellent. Uh, tell us about the concessions. I, I'm <laughs> eager to say about the Randy's all about food. <laughs> Concessions went really well. Good, um, good. Excellent. You know, that's uh, Italian sausage. They're the Matt's Fresh Produce Peppers and Onions are picking up and starting to sell, and they're really good. And, you know, your normal hot dogs, chili dogs, right, and all that. Right. But what they did differently this week, and I believe it was my wife's idea, um, our kettle corn guy that comes in, Benny, yeah. you know, he's an outside vendor. Right. Usually only in the grandstand side. Okay. She took a bunch of the big end little bags around to the pit side concession, and oh, they sold out back there, too. Oh, nice. So that's going to that's become a new sweet. thing where the nice. kettle corn will be available on both sides. When now, does, she, does she bark it, too? And does she do the kettle corn? No, no, no. Kettle she, corn here. she loaded up in her car in a box in the bags and <laughs> had a sign and dropped it off and left. Excellent. Okay. But um, right. that was a really good thing. You know, that's that way cool. the people on the pit side got to try the right. kettle corn, too, and it's really good. I had actually was eating it for lunch yesterday. And, cool. you know, otherwise concessions went well. You know, the snappy tomato always sells well for us. The chili dogs sell well the nachos sell well i've had heard the people that go to the races folks you do eat good so yes you have that they're doing a really good job <laughs> in the concession there and though. shirts tell us about you have some leftover shirts we have some leftover shirts available cool. um sold quite a few but okay. you know this is the finn watson shirt arizona sports shirts up in indiana put this together nice and we do have some left okay. um they are available at the track people can call us or nice. you know facebook message us if they want to stop by and pick them up because we are there sweet, sweet. um all the time you know we have them we can have it right. ready for you we can ship it to you we do accept paypal and that's, that's a really nice it, you know shirt it's really too. nice shirt. They I mean, did a really that's good a job. really nice yeah. it's comfortable too it's very um, <laughs> and, and it's, the, it's the good soft <laughs> yes so. yes cool. but you know we do have i believe every size still available we, okay. we don't have a lot left but we do have sure. a handful like i said they want to facebook message us you know, we set up a time for you to come pick it up or sure. set up if you want it shipped to you. We can have you pay PayPal and, PayPal and just do that, we can do it ship that it out to you. We oh, have no sweet. problem doing That's that. That's nice. But uh, yeah, okay. we'll also have available next race if we don't sell over the next two weeks. Sure. Next race, they will be in Souvenir Stand or out with one of our vendors. So okay. definitely can come pick one up. Absolutely. Fantastic. Uh, now, tell us about what you have coming up next, Bill, because it's yes. Memorial Day weekend. Am yes, I we are off the 22nd. Okay. Um, our friends up there, Florence Speedway, who I mentioned a little while okay. ago, are running a $3,000 super late model show. Okay. And Hopefully some of our guys will go up and support that. That'd cool. be good to see. And then we are running on Saturday, May 29th, Memorial okay. Day weekend. Got gotcha. you. The Sum Gave All 30. Oh, okay, uh, yep. good. Cool. Sonic Super Late Models. It's not a sanctioned event. It's just our our sure. you know weekly show right. for 2,000 to win. It's normally okay. 1,500, so we bumped it up to 2,000. Nice. nice. Then we are also welcoming in for the first time ever, Tony Stewart's big name. All-Star Circuit of Champion T.Q. Midgets. Nice. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Tony cool. won't be here, but cool. it's his okay. series. Right. He bought the, he already owned the All-Star Circuit of Champion Sprint Car Series. Oh, he did? He okay. He bought the All-Star Circuit of Champion T.Q. Midgets. That's a three-quarter midget. They're itty-bitty little things. Oh, okay, okay. And they've never raced at Richmond Raceway before. Oh, so first time ever. First time Oops. ever. They'll be coming in to race with us, too. Um, I believe they had their opener a couple weeks ago up in Indiana, I believe it was, and they had like 22 or 23 of them, so that's a good oh, turnout. that's a good turnout. And I think they're going to be all over the racetrack. Oh, I mean, they're little and they're fast. They're fast. They're boom, 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 yeah, boom, boom, gonna, boom. They should be I fun, so I hope yeah. everybody wants to come check those guys out. Nice. It should be a great show. Then we're also running our Equal Finance UMP Modifieds and right. our Air Body KRD, KDRA Super Stocks as well. So it'll be okay. a four-class program. Okay. And that will be on the 29th. We are off the 22nd. Right. Um, planning hot laps at 6 o'clock. We'll get right. more information out as we get it as all put together it, right. and develop it and all that type of stuff. So always check their Facebook page, yes. their website for updated information for all that great stuff. Yep. And, and I mean, it, it. I think weather-wise coming up, from what I understand, looking good. It's, it's looking good. Yep, so it's looking I think good. that's, that's yeah. fantastic. Yeah, we're just going to you know get back to work. And yesterday Absolutely. was the... Favorite day of the week, the garbage detail day, I'm sure, and then sure. uh, you know we'll get back there today. A we got some other the stuff scenes, to do, and, which we're going to do something, folks, uh, behind the scenes too. So, yeah. so watch for that yeah. coming get up. Get back there today, and you know, kind of analyze a few things and get to work on a few things. Sure. And you know, we don't generally take a day off, so right, right. We'll get the place ready it's to go. Seven for days 29th. a week. It it's is. seven days a week. That's it absolutely is. right. Uh, tell us about where can everybody get every uh, all the information one last time, Bill. Uh, Facebook, Richmond Raceway, okay. KY. Okay. Uh, as I always say, you just put Richmond right. Raceway and you just tag the wrong Richmond Raceway. It's an NASCAR yes, track. Yes, yes. So, because I see a lot of people do I've done that, that a couple of times yeah. and I'm like, mm, that's not correct. <laughs> yeah, that's the wrong one. <laughs> All right. Um, Facebook, same thing with Twitter. Sure. And then www.richmond-raceway.net for everything okay. on our website. Um, our website, I always forget to mention this, Finish mm -hmm. First Designs, Josh Smith is yes. our webmaster. Yes. He does a good job, gets things updated for us. He does a great job. Us. That's a great and, website. And, you know, I got him everything sent over yesterday, updated last night, okay. so they'll go on there and they'll see the, you know, the Some Gave All poster. My son actually updates the results and points because that's okay. the scoring he system, okay. so he did that last night. Okay. And then, you know, always got to give a shout out to Ken Short and 2A Designs for those awesome, yes. awesome posters that he puts awesome. together for me. Yes. And, awesome you know, graphics. He does things as 
So as soon as I ask it, him, sometimes it, before. It's great. Because there's sometimes I'll ask him, could you do this for He'll me? And he sends it right over and he's already ahead of you and he oh, sends it nice. to me. So he That's did that fantastic. yesterday actually. You so. can literally go on the website and I was just on there like thinking around, looking at stuff. I mean, half hour passes quick. Yes. I mean, you because it's so chock full of information. Yes, everything is on there. Absolutely. Folks, check them out. Richmond Raceway, Facebook, website, all that great stuff. Mm -hmm. All right, Bill. Hey, thanks, man. Thank you. Hey, thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.